If you were to accidentally open the friend circle in Chengdu, you would find the first friend, Montpellier, which joined in 1981. From then, the footprints of Chengdu's friend circle have already crossed mountains and seas. Chengdu currently has amicable relations with 37 cities and a relationship of friendship and cooperation with 69 cities. Among them, Tolvenia's capital, Ljubljana, is Chengdu's second city sister. Not only that, but Ljubljana occupies a prominent position amongst its many sister cities, giving it a particular special status. Let's check the attendance first. Yang Le Han, Wei Xiao Ya, Ya Di. Do you know where I'm from? Okay, I'm from Slovenia. Yes. Do you still remember some of the places that that I showed you in Slovenia? Does anyone remember? My name is Matej Zima. I'm from Slovenia and I've been in Chengdu for almost eight years. I work as a high-end foreign expert at Chengdu University. As a sinologist passionate about traditional Chinese culture, this year marks Matthew Zimmer's 18th year in China. It also celebrates the 41st anniversary of a sister city relationship between Chengdu and Ljubljana. Ljubljana is nestled at the foot of the Alps and like Chengdu, looks to snow-capped mountains, which are visible in the distance. So, geographically speaking, some of the similarities between Ljubljana and Chengdu is that they're both basins, and uh, Ljubljana Basin is uh, quite smaller, but it's also, it was located at the center of important trade routes throughout the history. Uh, when I was 11 years old, I moved to another town. Uh, I was also regularly in contact with, with my neighbor. She started to study Sinology and I found out that this, this could be quite an interesting thing to do, maybe to learn something new. I enrolled into a double major Sinology and Philosophy at uh, Ljubljana University at the Faculty of Arts. Since then, Metu Zimba has developed an enduring passion for strategizing how to combine Western philosophy with classical Chinese Sinology. He discovered that the thoughts of ancient Chinese philosophers have relevance not only for China but also for the rest of the world. So when I enrolled into a, a PhD program at the University of Ljubljana, I wanted to do research on Wang Yaming's cosmology. Uh, but at that time, uh, my supervisor said, OK, a lot of Westerners are doing Wang Yaming, so I don't think this would be a very good choice for you. So uh, she, she proposed I do, uh, I do something on not well researched uh, Chinese uh, thinker uh, called Li Zhi, but uh, I still could not get any of the relevant resources, so I needed to go to, I needed to come to China. To demonstrate the commonalities between Chinese and Western cultures, Mechu Zimmer moved from Ljubljana to Chengdu. After years of research, he was finally able to successfully publish his doctoral papers along with other writings. Okay, this is my PhD thesis. It's written in Slovenian. It covers the, um, the author Li Zhi from uh, late Ming Dynasty. It covers his uh, last extant work called Well-Revised Reasons for Change. All right, so this is just one of the books. and. The majority of the books are, are mainly on translation. My greatest wish is to work on a dictionary of, of uh, Slovene and Chinese uh, language. If language is the link between the two cities, the food is the catalyst for their friendship. Zimmer Wenfei, who is now counted as one of the foreign guests residing in Chengdu, can also find the taste of his hometown in Chengdu. Laban, ni hao. Oh, hello, man. Long time no see, Zima. How do you begin? 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 How 
，你帮我倒嘛。斯洛文尼亚人经常会，经常会会会配配面包。黄瓜，蒜黄瓜，这是生牛肉。你先尝一下。Beef。All right。然后这是生牛肉。Beef。All right。其实这就是刚给你挂上去的。啊，哇！就是因为你是我的好朋友，所以说在餐厅里面你经常来，给你挂一面你们国家的国旗。Both language and food serve as keys that open the lines of communication between the two cities. The statues from different countries exhibited in the Tian Thu Greenway vividly demonstrate the ways cultural symbols can cross time and space. Chengdu is a very pet-friendly city. Here we are at the Dog Adventure Park. It is the first park that is focused specifically on pets. It covers about 0.7 square kilometers. My friend Jordan told me that this park contains a sculpture from a Slovenian artist. So I thought of taking my dog for a walk and seeing the sculpture myself. Oh look, there are some dogs there. As early as April 2018, Chengdu sent out invitations all over the world. 38 artists specializing in sculpture from international sister cities and related regions came to Chengdu to capture its essence. Today, the second batch of 11 sister city sculptures all arrived to make their new home in Chengdu. Look! They're pandas! And they're kind of arching over! I'm not so sure what they represent. The name of the sculpture is Xiangju and the Gathering. Okay. The designer, the author is Damian Kratzina, and it's presented by Ljubljana to Chengdu as an international sister city. Okay, very interesting. Let's try to sit under it and see if we, how we feel. Oh, so comforting. Feels really nice. And if it starts raining, this is a this is a shelter. I really want to know more about these statues. Maybe maybe I can ask around if someone can get me in contact with the with the sculptor, with the artist. The sculpture gathering, which looks like giant pandas, welcomes tourists from all directions with a bowing posture. It is a work created by sculpture artist Damijan Prachina after he came to Chengdu in 2019. To learn more about the stories behind the sculpture, Matea Simmer contacted Chengdu Plus, hoping to get in touch with the sculpture artist Damijan Prachina in his distant hometown of Ljubljana. Oh, we're finally here. Okay. Oh, here we are. Oh, it's Damian. Let's talk. Let's talk. Здраво, Damian. Здраво, Matej. Me zelo veseli, da so se končno lahko spoznala, ker ker sem zasledil tvoje ekipe v v tem famoznem parku. No, me zelo veseli, da so se srečala. Kako je v bistvu prišlo do te ideje? Kakšni so bili tvoji, recimo, vtisi Čengduja? No, ja, začne se v Ljubljani, seveda, jaz sem bil zbran v strani Društva likovnih umetnikov in zastopam pač Ljubljano. Jaz sem bil zelo presenečen, ko sem prišel v Čengdu nad to neko velikostjo, nad nad mestom samim kot takim, nad tem nekim zelo razbitim, tehnološko razbitim mestom. Jaz sem bil seveda fasciniran na to neko obsežnostjo, na neko velikostjo. Jaz sem bil fasciniran na tem, kako se drevesa sedijo, kako se cele pokrajena spreminja v park in videlo se je, da bo to res obsežno, veliko, lepo. Ta tehnologija v povezavi z narabo in z okoljem, to bi bilo res fascinantno. 
Moja ideja je bila da pač postavim nekaj v parku nek, neko skulpturo, ki bo predstavljala pač neko srečevanje in povezovanje različnih kultur, ljudi, družb. A, kako ti vidiš te ekipe v navezavi na odnose med Ljubljano in Čingdujo? To so neka bitja, ki so nekako pod zemljo in povezujo različne kraje. Bi lahko to simbolično ne, povezali, da so pač ta bitja nekako povezujejo in se premikajo in enkrat se pokažejo v Čengdujo, enkrat se pokažejo v Ljubljani. Tako malo mal science fiction, recimo, pristopa. Ne. V Narodni galeriji v Ljubljani imam na fasadi skulpture, ki so podobne barve, recimo kot te dve javni skulpturi, ena v Ljubljani in ena v Čengdujo, recimo, z moje strani povezuje te dve mesti. Kašen je pa tvoj pogled v bistvu na, na trenutno vzpostavljene odnose med, med Čengdujem in Ljubljano? Vem, da obstaja Čengdujska ulica v Ljubljani, na kateri je tudi arhitekturni muzej, ki je zelo viskan. Prej nisem vedel, zakaj se imenuje ulica Čengdujska, zdaj vem, da je to že v bistvu več kot 40 let sta te dve mesti pobrateni. To sta dve mesti, ki sta pač na našem planetu uh, in jih seveda vabim, da grejo pogledati mojo skulpturo ne? in mogoče se bo tam porodila kakšna ideja o tudovitem sodelovanju v prihodnje. Super, ker se boš uh, enkrat vrnil nazaj v Čengdu, si pa lahko v bistvu to vse skupaj po- pogledamo, pa vidimo, kako v bistvu na te podlagi tudi uh, raste od te povezave med dvema mestoma. Ja, hvala lepa in lep pozdrav v Čengdu. Lep pozdrav v Ljubljano. Just like the sculptures that traverse the ocean to come to Chengdu, there are countless precious collection in Chengdu's sister city's museum. They quickly testify to the stories of friendship between Chengdu and the world. Hey, 那整个展厅呢，我们共占地一千一百平米，然后送来了世界上各个国家有神的一些礼物。那与成都第一个建立友好关系的是法国蒙彼利亚市，那于一九八一年六六月，咱们签订的一个议定书，你可以看一下，非
Over the past 40 years, Chengdu has given Slovenia a window through to which to understand more about China, and the friendship between Chengdu and Ljubljana has only grown stronger over time. The sculptures resulting from these international friends, close relationship with Chengdu, demonstrate the deepening richness of cultural exchanges between Chengdu and its international friends.